Good morning, children. Welcome to the mathematics class. We are continuing exercise one, question number five. What is the question number five? Check it out, children. Exercise one. The following table shows the marks scored by Anju, Nilesh, and Lekhya. These are the name of the students, Anju, Nilesh, and Lekhya. Here, question number one, two, three, four bits are given, children. First, second, third, and fourth. But here, in the fourth bit, he is asking you, who performed best in the English? Here are the following marks of the test in English, particular subject, English. Unit test 1, unit test 2, unit test 3, unit test 4. And three students are there. And the fourth question is, who performed best? So, based on this question, you have to find the average of Anju. Average marks of Nilesh, average marks of Lekhya. So, first of all, you have to find Nilesh, Anju. First is Anju. First is Anju. Average marks of, <coughs> average marks of Anju is equal to sum of the, what is the formula children? Average is nothing but mean. Sum of the observations by, by, Number of observations. What are the marks Anju got children in unit test 1? Absent. So unit test 2, 19. Unit test 3, 23. Unit test 4, 21. So absent, 19, 23 plus 21. Divided by 1, 2, 3, 4. But 4 tests, tests were there. But she was absent. This girl was absent for one test. So he's asking the question as find the average mark secured by Anju. Will you divide? Question number two, he's asking. Average marks, find the average marks of Anju. Will you divide by divide by three or four? I will divide this by three. Because she was absent for one test. Okay. When any, any particular student absent for test, he will submit the letter. And that average will be divided by 3, not by 4. So, what is the addition? 23, 21. Check it out, children. 13, 2 to 4, 5, 6, 63. 63 divided by 3. So, 3 twos are 3 ones are 63. So, your yeah, average marks is nothing but 21. Second, Nilesh. The word Nilesh. But you have to write the statement, children. Here, will you divide by 3 or 4? I will divide. I will divide. And just marks. Marks. By 3. As she was absent for one test. This is about second bit. Okay, children. Now, he's asking second one, average of Nilesh. So, first write the name of Nilesh. Average marks of Nilesh is equal to sum of the observations by Number of observations. That boy got first test unit test as 0 marks, 20 marks, 22 marks, 24. Again this question is asking, well, Nilesh given the 4 tests, find the average marks equipped by him. What you divide the total marks by 3 or by 4? He is asking third bit, will you divide... Divide by 3 or 4. Again, he's asking Nilesh marks. So, I will divide by this marks by 4. Because he was present, but he got the marks as 0. So, it's still, it's it's not, uh, he's did wrong, isn't it? He got 0 marks. So, he's not doing hard work. He didn't did the hard work. There's a reason maybe he got the 0 marks. He was not absent. He, he was present, but he got the 0 marks. So, the marks, average marks are divided by 4, not by 3. Whenever the student is absent, then divided by 3. 
but when it's present and getting the zero marks then still the marks are divided by four okay what is the total count to children 20 22 24 6 6 66 divided by 4 4 ones are 4 2 6 6 are 24 4 fives are 24 6 are 24 4 sevens are 20 24 2.0 4 fives are 20 so his marks average marks is nothing but 16.5 marks and now you have to write the statement children I will divide Nilesh marks divided by 4 not by 3 and see so it is third bit Nilesh marks are divided by 4 as he, as he got 0 marks in first UT. Okay. Now, third is Lekhya. Average marks of Lekhya. So, average is equal to sum of the observation by number of observation. Write the formula. Then, I am doing addition directly by 4. So, this is nothing but 92 by 4. You do a division, children. 4 twos are 8. 4 threes are 12. So, her marks 23 marks. So, fourth bit is asking, children, who performed best? First, Anju got 21 marks. Nilesh got 16.5 marks. And Lekhya got 23 marks. So who did who perform well in the English? So Lekhya fourth bit. Lekhya perform best in English. This is what yeah. Answer children. Go through the video very attentively. It's a little bit you have to understand the question. And then find the average of each student and whether you will divide by 3 or divided by 4, you just try to understand. Whenever the marks are getting 0, you have to divide it by 4. Whenever any student is absent, then you have to go division by 3. In the question number 7, find the mean of first 10 natural numbers. I am not writing the question, so vision I am writing. What are the first 10 Natural numbers. What are natural numbers, children? Numbers which are starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He's asking 10 natural numbers. So till 10 you take it. And natural numbers are denoted with the letter N. Remember, children? N. And we'll start with the 1. Okay. Now he's asking you find the average of first 10 natural numbers. Sum of the observations by number of observations. 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus, 4 plus, 5 plus, 6 plus, 7 plus, 8 plus, 9 plus, 10. Divided by how many total numbers? Children? Number of observations. 10. Isn't it? You add it up, you will get 55. 55 by 10. 55 by 10 is nothing but? 5.5. That's it. Very simple question. Now, question number 8 also same is asking you find the mean of first 5 prime numbers. First 5, first 5 prime numbers. What are prime numbers, children? Which have only 2 factors. That is 2, 3, or 5, 7, 11. 13, 17, 18, 19. Okay. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29. Isn't it? So, he's asking first 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now, he's asking you mean. 
mean is nothing but average sum of the observations by by total observations okay sum of the quantities by number of quantities also you can write 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 11 by 5 when you are adding add it children 11 17 18 20 25 26 27 28 28 by 5 check it out 17 18 19 20 25 28 yes go with the division mark 5 5 is 25 3 left point zero five six are 30 so your answer is 5.6 is it clear so always remember natural numbers will start with n denoted with letter n start from 1 2 3 4 and so on and whole numbers will start whole 0 1 2 3 and so on denoted with the letter w and what are prime numbers one is neither prime nor composite remember 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 at least still 50 prime numbers you remember okay these are the prime numbers composite numbers which then the pro, which have more than two factors that is 4 6 you check it out 8 9 10 12 14 and so on at least minimum till 50 you remember prime numbers and composite numbers don't get confused in a natural numbers and a whole numbers okay these two questions are very important questions go through the video very attentively complete your notes and question number five question number six question number six i'm giving as a homework it's a very easy question you have to do it as a homework and submit me on my personal window thank you so much children